up guys welcome back to the channel uh, man it's been a busy week I've had so much stuff to film but just been running around busy so today we're gonna put some rear shocks on the back of the dyno finally um, no more old rusty bed spring sound when you hop on it uh, somebody painted these it looks like so uh, they're pretty pretty bad and absolutely worthless so what we got is some drag specialties uh, black adjustable shocks and I went with the 12 inch I don't know if I should have maybe I should have went with the 13s I don't know but um, anything's gonna be an improvement over these crappy stock rear shocks that are on the dyno so yeah let's check out what we got So the first thing is we got some ARP hardware from IMZZ Elite. And these guys are super awesome. They have a bunch of different ARP bolt kits for Harley Davidsons and check those guys out for that. <clears throat> Next up is the shocks. Um, these are relatively cheap shocks. Everybody that has them seems to absolutely love them. So. I'm gonna give them a shot. I wanted to do like a budget build uh, on the suspension on the Dyna. I have Legends front and rear on Betty, and man, it's it's amazing how how well that bike rides now. So, yeah, let's get these installed and see if it helps out. So it's pretty easy to put rear shocks on anything, any motorcycle. Period, but. You know, this is a 09 FXD. But yeah, we have on this side, there's a bolt that goes into the swing arm uh, bracket and a nut on the top. This is actually a stud. So on, on the other side, there's actually a uh, nut and the bolt just goes all the way through. So should be pretty simple to get these installed we'll see oh another thing I forgot and wanted to add um, this is my little Harbor Freight motorcycle jack I've had this thing for almost 10 years it's been flawless um, with a project like this you want to have a little bit of weight off the rear tire um, that way the bowl goes in and out easy you don't strip anything out um, it, it definitely helps I've seen people use normal normal car jacks to do it um, do one at a time that that way it it lessens the chance of anything going wrong so unbolt one shock put a new one on and then switch to the other side so yeah let's get her done fairly simple install shocks what you want to do is adjust these sleeves to both sides you want them to be exactly the same on both sides that way one's not taller than the other I mean you could just measure the gap to do that uh, we have I have them set all the way up and I kind of dig that um, they're a little bit about a half inch taller than stock so I think 12 and a half was the max adjustment in inches so a little bit bigger than stock but not a full inch and the ARP hardware looks great uh, one thing I've always done on cars I'm assuming it's the same with motorcycles you want to have the weight all on the bike uh, sitting on the ground before you tighten up your hardware um, that way the the load of the, the weight of the bike kind of helps settle things but yeah we'll get those tightened up and 
take it for a ride and hopefully it's night and day difference as always guys hit like hit subscribe let me know what you think in the comment section below and we'll be shooting a lot more videos uh on the road glide and we're gonna throw a moto vlog in there in between we have a bunch more parts for him um he got some really sweet dakota digital gauges so there'll be another episode of the of the road glide coming up um we did get another wheel it's way better than that skull one in there so it's got some rotors and stuff we basically rebuilding the whole front end uh everything on it so i'm going to try to get some of that going in the next couple days we'll shoot that film that so take it easy guys appreciate your views appreciate your support and we'll catch you on the next one